Welcome to another Onshape tutorial at Bryanston School whereby we are modelling the resin mood lamps that the Bry Prep students made with us uh, earlier in the year. Uh, so far we've created the three base blocks and the resin in our model. We're now going to simply create a top block in this video and we'll also add some colour to the blocks uh, to perhaps make them look a little bit more like what they represent. So uh, I'm going to uh, select the surface in which I'm going to create my sketch. So I'm going to right click on the top surface of the resin, left click on new sketch, and then I'll right click and then select left click on view normal to sketch plane, or I could simply press the N key for normal too. Uh, in the past, uh, we've uh, used the uh, conversion tool to convert our edges to uh, sketches. This time, um, I thought I'd show you how uh, the sketches will also try and link to previous aspects of uh, the model that you have. Uh, so in this tutorial I'm going to go back to the centre point rectangle. Remember you can left click uh, on the little arrow to choose it if it's not there. So centre point rectangle and I'm going to left click on the origin to place the centre of the rectangle. And then as I come out to the corner can you see that the uh, corner is highlighted in orange to say that I've picked that up and I'm constraining what I'm drawing to that corner uh, so I'm just going to left click on there to place it and that's that part drawn I didn't need to enter any dimensions in because it's used the geometry from the previous part that I've modeled now that I've drawn that I'm simply going to extrude it so uh, left click on extrude change the distance to 12 and make sure that it's a new part and once I've done that, I can left click to confirm. Let's go over here to the part to rename it. So rename it and we're going to call it top block because it's a top block of our material. And there we have our components. If I right click in space and left click on isometric, I can see uh, that we have all our parts there. So let's uh, add some colors to this. If I select a part and right click on it, I can edit the appearance for it and I can pick a range of different colors. So let's go for this uh, dark, slightly rusty brown on that one. And on the next one, let's right click on it and left click on edit appearance. Let's go for a slightly different color on that one and on the next one perhaps go for the same color as the first one so edit, edit appearance and go for that one and on the top block let's edit appearance and let's pick one over so it's more of a brownie brown less of a ready brown uh, and lastly let's do the resin so let's right click on the resin left click on edit appearance and let's try and go for uh, maybe a nice light sort of purpley color our mood light resin. So there we have our top block drawn along with uh, how to edit the different uh, colors. In our next tutorial uh, I'll show you how to draw one of the feet that the students made. Thanks for watching, see you next time.